And welcome back to Market Day Report. We are 10 minutes to the top of the hour. That means time for your livestock update. Helping us do that, Todd Horwitz, back to Chicago. He's a great friend here from Bubba Trading. It's BubbaTrading.com. So, uh, you think better times are ahead in the grain trade? As you said, they've thrown a lot of bad news at this grain trade. So, how much more can we find? Big crops get bigger. They already know that. <laughs> livestock trade. They've been throwing a lot of bad news at the oh. livestock, demand news at the livestock trade here. It's reacting uh, down. Are we at a point where there's not a lot of new, fresh, negative news to push this market lower from here. I think we are, Mark. I mean, full disclosure, I'm, I'm long from higher myself, and I will buy more down here. But I, I think that what we've seen here now, and especially even yesterday, believe it or not, there's a, there a lot of spillage on the street. A lot of, a lot of nervous people saying that they're never going up again, which is obviously it's a great sign if you own them or you're looking to buy them. Because once people start to throw in the towel, okay, I, I use the term once today, so I won't use it again. But once they start to use the air stick bag, that's usually a nice sign of a bottom. And I think we saw a little bit of a turnaround. You know, I looked up this morning, uh, the live kettle was down about a buck or more, and, mm -hmm. and feeders are down almost three, and now we've turned around from here. And again, I don't want to see a repeat of last Tuesday. I want to see it hold here. I thought that on Friday we saw that blow up bottom. I think it finished this morning on the opening, and now I want to see it steady as she goes. I don't want to see a limit up move from here. I want to see the markets work them very slowly, building a base all the way along so that we can see these go back up into, you know, much bigger numbers. And I think we, we you know, we can get to 114 or 115 in the fat, so we can get to one, you know, 145 or 150 in the feeders. But I don't want to see it immediately. Obviously, we won't get there that fast, but I want to see them work their way up where we get a true supply-demand model, and we're really seeing the overall demand, not the short covering, trying to get it, to get it, the speculators up. Yeah, and, you, and people say, well, why is that? Well, they, they, uh, they, if they spike higher, they're going to go back eventually and fill that gap. Is that right? Usually, that'll what happen. And again, usually when you get an extra large move in the market, either up or down, that's usually what we call the finality of the market. I call it a blow-off pattern, and that's usually the end of that move. Mm -hmm. So when you get a blow-off down, that would mean you'd want to try to be a buyer once you can find where Steady's way down at their bottom because we're probably going to pop back up from there. Just like when you see the straight move up, that's usually an opportunity to sell. And that's a pattern that you can trade on a shorter term. But when you look at it, those are never good for the long-term holder. They create more grief. And typically that'll mean it's going to go farther the other way than you thought it was going to go once it makes its mind up. Right, good. Now, how does that change when you take a look at from the, uh, live, the cattle and feeder cattle trade to the hog complex? How, do the, how does that verbiage change at all. Well, the hogs look pretty good until today. Now, we're still okay, okay? We, we're 60, it's, I have them marked 58 to 64. Okay, mm -hmm. we've got a, a pretty solid band there. Now, the, the last I looked, we were around 59.50. You know, I would have liked to have seen them hold 60. But overall, if we get back above 60, I would be, I would want to be a buyer there. I think 64 will play. I, I think this range will trade for a while until we can break out one way or the other. I do not believe we're going to break to the downside. I do believe we're going to break to the upside. But in the meantime, you want to be a buyer at the bottom end of the range at support, and you want to be either taking your profit or seller at the upper end of the range until we break the, the direction one way or the other. It's going to break out of this model just like it did last time. It broke to the downside. This time I think we will break to the upside. I, I am positive. I, am, I, I do want to own uh, hogs as well. So I'm, I'm, looking to be, I'm looking to be in all the way across the board. Very good. With that, we say thanks for your time today. We'll check in with you later this week. Well, back tomorrow. Back, back with us. Tomorrow. All thanks, right. Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Todd Horwitz, great friend here of our RFD-TV and Rural Radio. Here are the numbers again. 